we've got a bit of a long one today. Um, we we're going from Barliston, where we were moored, through Stoke, up five locks through Stoke, get to the junction at Etruria, and then straight on to uh, Hardcastle Tunnel. No. Oh yeah, sorry, I'll Hair, <laughs> Hair Castle. Hair Castle <laughs> Tunnel. And um, watch it, it goes really narrow here. And uh, get through there to the other side and hopefully get onto the um, Macclesfield Canal. Yay! And uh, we're on brand new ground then. Well, as soon as we get past the Druria, the we're on boots brand new ground. Are sitting there primed, <laughs> ready to go. Socks at the ready. Yeah, Dogs so. Socks at the ready. It's a beautiful day. It's going to be like this all day apparently. No rain, but tomorrow's going to be a bit iffy. Uh, but it's just going to be lovely, isn't it? Doing stuff that we haven't done before. I think we've got a forecast of um, thunderstorms again for the rest of the week, really. We would have split this journey and stopped at Etruria for another night, but um, with the forecast of uh, not being so good ahead, we're just going to crank it. Yeah. If they let us through the tunnel, if we get there in time. Oh, fitted the lamp back on. Half past seven this morning yeah. we were doing that. It's unheard and of. The horn after painting the board at the front. So I put the lamp and the horn back on. But the switch, to switch it on here at the back is a bit sticky and sometimes it comes on, sometimes it doesn't. And obviously they're not going to let us through uh, if it's not working. So fingers crossed it'll be okay. We have got our bright LED lamp which is brighter than the lamp on the front. Our LED torch. So. Um, that's backup, obviously. So if the torch at the lamp at the front doesn't work, we've got the backup of the torch. But hopefully they'll let us through if the lamp's not working, but the torch does. So. Yeah. But oh. it just feels like, oops. <laughs> Someone's not watching where she's going. <laughs> it feels like it's so long since we've been cruising properly. We had, as we said, two days of rain, and before that we did have a day's cruising. But before that we had three days of intense heat wave, oh. the hottest day, as you all know, on record. Um, even July. then, it was okay, wasn't it? Our boat tends to stay quite cool, yeah. uh, and the floor is quite cool, dogs were fine, but we were just, it, it feels like a long time that we've just been stayed put because of weather. Um, but yeah, it's so good to be cruising again, it isn't is. it? And everybody's out today. I think a lot of boats that would have uh, stayed put yesterday are all moving today. They obviously all got cabin fever and they're all out. Uh, but it's lovely. Anyway, we'll catch you later. Morning. Morning. All right. So we've arrived at the first lock in Stoke. Uh, boats have just gone in the lock. There's boats waiting to come down the lock. And there's a boat in front of us waiting to go up. So um, five locks to do. And I guess there's two boats ahead of us, boats waiting to come down. So it would have normally taken us an hour and a quarter probably to do five locks, an hour. And uh, well, with all this activity going on, I can't imagine us getting through in three hours. Uh, the so. time now is 11.20 so uh, I'd have liked to have been through this by about half twelve but uh, we've got another four miles to go to get to the tunnel and we have to be there by at least four o'clock 
to enable us to get through because they closed the tunnel at six. So we'll see. We're doing really well. We're on the last lock at Stoke-on-Trent. We've got through quite quickly because there were a whole series of boats coming down so the locks were in our favour. And so we got to the last lock. This is the one that's called the Beast that we had problems with going up before because it is so fierce. And there are volunteers on there, um, which I guess if you've only got two volunteers on, that's the place for them to be today because it is a lock that you need help with. So they've just let one boat through and um, seen us, waved at us in the lock below, and they've gone for lunch. <laughs> Didn't even open the paddles. And uh, it doesn't really matter, Richard's gone ahead to do it. <laughs> it just seems funny that they looked at us, acknowledged us, picked up their bags and went for lunch and didn't even open the paddles for the gate. But there you go. We're young, fit people, we can do it all. Uh, five locks done, it's now quarter to one. Yeah, it ended up fine, didn't it? Locks were mainly in our favour. An hour so. and 25 minutes, so yeah, it wasn't as bad as I expected it was going to be. So that's it, we are officially now on untrodden ground. Untrodden, don't say that. Unpropelled. Right, yeah, <laughs> uncruised ground. So uh, we've got a couple of miles, I think, now, four miles, I think, to the tunnel. Yes. The Harecastle Tunnel. Yeah. We've just tested the lamp and it comes on after a few switches on and offs. So uh, here goes. Something new. So here we are at uh, Hare Castle Tunnel, or Scare Castle Tunnel as it's known. This is the uh, second canal tunnel that was built here. The first was built in 1777 by Brindley. And uh, 50 years later, because of the bottleneck and the traffic, they built another one, Thomas Telford built this one here, and was opened in 1827. And uh, the other one is no longer used. They used to use them as one-way uh, tunnels, but they're not anymore. This one, the first tunnels collapsed in part so they no longer use it. No. And the original tunnel, um, the collapsed one, had no towpath. So it's what, a mile and three quarters long mm. and that was walked through on their backs um, a little bit like we did with the uh, Froggle Tunnel but a mile and three quarters. And this one has got, has got a towpath. Not anymore, they removed the towpath. Yeah because they had, um, they had tugs that took the boat Electric through, didn't tugs, they? yeah, eventually. Yeah. But there's also a third tunnel that goes over the top of these tunnels, 40 feet above, uh, that is a railway tunnel. And uh, that isn't used anymore. That, they, that, the railway skirts around the hill, Aircastle Hill, and uh, has a shorter tunnel to go through. So apparently there's five boats coming through. We have to wait for them to come through before we can go through. And, uh, Scary thing is, it looks like we're on our own. We haven't got a convoy to and go the, through with. The biggest, big, biggest, the bigger scary thing is that it's really supposed to be haunted. Mm. There's about 200 sightings of the ghost of this tunnel, and she seems to appear. She was, oh, I can't remember the lady's name, no, but she was somebody that was murdered um, many, many years ago, coming through a boat and coming through the tunnel, and her headless ghost is seen around and apparently it always coincides with a big 
disaster of some sort. Mining disaster, she's usually seen so, on the morning of a mining disaster. Yes. It? We don't believe in all that rot, so no. we're going to be all right. Yeah. We're not <laughs> we'll let you know the that. other end. So, we've got our cloves of garlic to hang up, we'll be all right. So we've got to take all the plants off the roof of the boat because the roof of the boat is too high again. So I've got to take all my lovely courgettes and beans off, put them in the well deck. Um, and the first boat should be coming through shortly, I would think, shouldn't they yeah, now? Yeah, don't call me shortly. You shine a torch on me, I think. Well, this is fun. We're about halfway and uh, it's getting lower and lower and narrower. Not pleasant at all. It's very wet in, in here, especially after the two days rain we've had. But <laughs> it's getting really low. I can take comfort in the fact that another boat has joined us further back, so. That's in my face, <laughs> I can't see. You can't see, I've got a shadow. Yeah, don't worry, that's in my face, I can't see. Whoa. We are really low. I think we've just gone through the half part, halfway point of the tunnel. But every so often, you just get another lip in the roof and it gets lower and lower and lower. We had about three, four foot above us at the beginning. And uh, now we're just crouched right down. So, <laughs> um, yeah, let's hope it doesn't get much lower than this. Tunnel done. Another one ticked off the list yes. and we made it to the other side. It's a bit wet in there in places. Well, we did see a skeleton. Skelly gog. <laughs> Painted in the wall. But uh, yeah, yeah, another went, experience. Went quite quickly actually, considering it's such a long tunnel. Um, it's the lights off. Sometimes you do, your vision really does go in some tunnels, doesn't it? But in that one, you had to keep your um, wits about you because that level, the height level, just kept changing yeah. all the time. But, uh, yeah, good fun. A beautiful setting there, isn't it, for a tunnel entrance? It is. The other side is just as uh, wonderful. It is. And so now, we are truly on our journey northwards. Um, we might be going straight to the pillar of that bridge though at the no, moment. No.